Hello there, welcome to the Perfume Experience. Welcome back to a fragrance haul for the month of August. So we've recently added our decan sale and thank you so much for your support and love during the sale. We've sold uh, quite a lot of the old fragrances that we've had and that has helped us to add in new fragrances for the month of August. So these are going to be added in decans already and uh, you know these are going to be reviewed in the month of August. So let me go ahead and share uh, about 15-16 fragrances that you can expect uh, reviews to come and we still have a uh, you know, few more fragrances fragrances uh, from uh, the last month that is still yet to be reviewed right so starting with uh, one of the newest additions is from the house of uh, uh, Ahmed Al Maghrabi this is Ignite Oud uh, so let me just quickly show you how the box is it's, it's a beautiful uh, packing and uh, I was quite surprised by the quality of the box that comes in this particular fragrance very very good uh, quality box I have smelled the fragrance uh, but we got this especially to review so that we can show you the full presentation and all of it this is the box and the fragrance sits inside this. This is a very popular fragrance from the house of Ahmed Al Maghrabi. So we are going to review this. This, like I said, is the Ignite Oud. And you can also expect a top 10 or top 12 fragrance list of, uh, Ign you know, Ahmed Al Maghrabi as well. A lot of people have been requesting for it. So we will be reviewing that or rather we'll be doing that particular video as well. So this is Ignite Oud. So aside to Ignite Oud uh, from the house of Ahmed Al Maghrabi, I recently reviewed Blue Oud as well. And uh, then I also have a decant of for bin shake okay so in case you want to get decants like this these are our decants of 10 ml that are available with the notes of the fragrance and of the name and some crazy artwork that uh, you know is ai inspired so this is a 10 ml decant and i have a bin shake decant as well so i almost have all of the fragrances that are popular with ahmed al maghrabi and we can definitely look at doing the top 12 that we want to right so that will be done so Ahmed Al Maghrabi, Ignite Oud and uh, Bin Sheikh, okay. Then we do have fragrances from uh, the series of Emir and we've been wanting to get the entire bunch. So we have this vibrant series and in this we do have Orange and Neroli. So this is, uh, these are all part of um, the Byrodo clones. So also the niche house Byrodo. So this is, uh, I think, Sundays, okay. So Orange and Neroli is one of them. Um, and then we have uh, Vibrant Tobacco, okay. So this is another one. So they come in this kind of boxes and then you do have uh, you know you have to lift, lift the tin up to kind of you know showcase the fragrance bottle they kind of look cool okay so there are four of them so two are here and uh, let me pick up the other two which are right here okay so yes so we do have uh, vetiver as well so this one specifically i got because uh, i am going to do a vetiver uh, fragrance review i mean a few favorite fra vetiver fragrances and i wanted to test this out for that so this is one and then of course the essential saffron this is also from the emir series so four uh, fragrances from emir uh, you know that you can expect uh, reviews of probably individually if possible if not maybe a group review of uh, all four uh, fragrances right so like i said it's pretty good stuff uh, pretty affordable stuff as well then i've been wanting to try this one this is from the house of latafa this is al noble um Safir, okay, this is a popular alternate of um, uh, Oud, uh, Oud for happiness and I'm a big fan of this particular fragrance because it smells wonderful and I feel that it's not um, very popular with people and uh, we thought uh, getting an alternate of this, let's look at this bottle, it looks wow, I mean really classy looking bottle from the house of Latafa. This will be added at some point of time uh, after about a couple of weeks for decanting but yes, uh, after the review, so yes, this is a very very good fragrance to try. So, so Latafa's um, Al Safir, which is Al Noble Safir, right? Then, of course, uh, we are going to add Sharaf. Uh, we have added Sharaf the club. Okay, so we've already added um, Zimaya's um, Angel Share is not in Decant, but I've reviewed that previously. So this is the club. The club is basically an alternate, I think, of the Aventus Absolute. Okay, so the bottle kind of looks very classy, very beautiful, heavy bottle. And uh, uh, this is also going to be, uh, you know, reviewed as well. So you can expect a lot of good reviews, right? So in case you have not subscribed, I think it's a good time time for you to subscribe now right aside to that yes cuddlage artistic epoch okay a lot of you people uh, asked us to add this to the decans list so we've done this we are also going to review it uh, so the fragrance kind of you know bottle looks like this very good quality bottle heavy bottle and this is an alternate of uh, the Paco Rabanne Invictus Victory okay so we are going to uh, you know review that uh, as well so this is Cuddlers. Cuddlers, in fact, surprisingly makes very good fragrances. Uh, the recent fragrances that we've added to that uh, list are all good. So a good uh, you know, fragrance to add as well, right? Then, of course, we have a very popular 
blue lavern bakur okay so this is uh, I've been there in the decans list for some time uh, but this is the 200 ml bottle that comes kind of you know like this so yes this is also going to be reviewed this is apparently an alternate of uh, jisas imperial valley which is like uh, the latani uh, as well but we can definitely review it compare it and also check because this costs about 6000 7000 rupees in india approximately and i think you can get it for half the price of it if you are able to get it from saudi if you have some relatives friends coming from there you should target that that would be something wonderful to do right another middle eastern fragrance is coming from the house of dama perfumes or probably this will be one of the first reviews coming for this particular house uh, this is uh, called arofac and this is Uh, the alternate of platinum egoist okay so very good beach mode kind of a fragrance apparently so we're going to review this as well so this is also available um, you know in decans right after this uh, like i said i'm getting more and more vetiver fragrances so i did get a high partial of this called vibrant weather uh, vetiver from the house of amud now this is uh, the brand that's uh, late uh, mr satyajit uh, was managing and this is a very beautiful uh, vetiver fragrance which is an alternate i think of um, uh, garland's uh, older formulation okay so this is how the fragrance bottle looks a little flimsy cap i think but uh, we'll review the fragrance uh, quality of fragrances are generally very very high a uh, very very good high quality fragrances so that is something that's going to be reviewed as well then of course some indian uh, fragrances oh yeah before we go to uh, the indian house the uh, despo okay so lior despo noche which is an alternate of louis vuitton's um, um, i think one of the noche series uh, fragrances so we are going to review that uh, so this is also added so the bottle presentation is kind of like this looks very very classy good quality bottle uh, look looks a little like the fragrance world uh, i mean all of the uh, louis vuitton imagination series bottles are like this so yes this is also being added uh, and you can also expect a review of this as soon as uh, possible okay so that was the list of middle eastern fragrances that are added uh, aside to this indian fragrances are going to be um, Centrix Trap Delight. Now this is an alternate of um, I forgot one of the popular Clive Christian fragrances uh, that uh, you can expect. This is a citrusy fragrance. We'll look at doing, uh, like I said, a bundle video of uh, Centrix fragrances as well. A couple of more to come. So once they come, we can kind of you know do all of them together. Then I do have. Um, from the house of asanud i have quite a few fragrances that i'm going to review so oud elegance uh, velvet oud which are basically oud fragrances uh, but i did also get them for specifically for uh, this seaside forest is also a vetiver based fragrance i want to try and review this as well and mystic sandal is perfect if you're looking for a sandalwood fragrance i've tried this very very nice and of course green leaf right so these are five fragrances from uh, um, uh, asanud that i will look at reviewing as well and then i did get a lot of you had requested me for to get fragrances from the house of follow me okay so follow me perfumes i did get a few um, uh, 10 ml so this is set number 1 i have also have another set of fragrances coming from them uh, it's on the way so probably once that comes i will be able to do a full set of uh, review for those fragrances uh, additionally i also have fragrances from um, RJ perfumers i do have uh, polo green i have uh, brut i have azure uh, you know home and then i also have um, lacoste green so all of these are 10 ml vials that i will be reviewing aside to that i did also get a set of fragrances uh, basically these set of fragrances that i am getting are in a line to the monsoon uh, fragrances so you can kind of you know, expect a lot of monsoon related or fragrance good for monsoon season so i did get another set of fragrance from the house of perfume cart okay now perfume cart uh, also makes very good uh, alts and they do have budget friendly alternates as well so these are all uh, 10 8 ml vials which are five vials which is basically uh, chanel sycamore uh, rojas oligarch uh, creed vetiver original uh, ben uh, bulgari's terre essence and of course creed royal uh, water so these are some fragrances that are going to be reviewed as well tested tried and tell uh, you know going to be added into the monsoon some list of fragrances so to check which is good not all of them will be added but maybe couple of them and of course uh, last, but, last but not the least i have a fragrance from the house of indian oil called as dark sugar that i'll test out probably will do a little later right 
So yes, these are essentially all of the fragrances that I've come by and I think there are a couple more in transit like for example the dark lavender bottle is in and we are also going to include sandalwood from the house of uh, Ibrahim Al Qureshi. Now dark lavender and uh, sandalwood both are going to be added as well and uh, aside to this yes there is going to be a Latafa's pizza that is going to be added uh, and of course uh, a couple more fragrances as well which I can't recall straight off. Yes, Rasasi's Shura, Rasasi's um, uh, Shura and one more fragrance as well. So just to give you a rough idea, so that's the list of fragrances that we are adding uh, for decants and also as part of our reviews, right? So if there is any other fragrance that you would like us to review or anything as such, do let us know and we'll be happy to check out. And if you like the floral uh, fragrance reviews, watch out for uh, amazing, uh, you know, spot on accurate clones review coming soon as well. So if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe and share and I'll see you on another video. Until another time, take care. Bye-bye.